All right, I just want to play something from Ryan, give him some senses, how do you say, pleasure for his ears. And I want to leave him with a visual, and it's going to take five minutes, really. And uh, where's Ryan going? Ryan, I just want to tell you, you're a good Christian man, and I want you to never forget. And I watch a friend of mine, a Christian lady, half my size, chopped up, hat, impaled to the ground, and crying out the name of her Jesus. And what you're doing, I believe, is you're step by step working towards a better world, not just for safe for Israel, but for a better world. And it's step by step. So I want to play you something very personal because uh, after they finish butchering my friend, nearly murdering me, then uh, I got up gagged and bound and barefoot. And I don't know how, but with 30 broken bones, dislocated shoulder, crushed uh, broken shoulder blade, 30 machete wounds in my, my, in my lungs and diaphragm, I managed to walk over a mile until I found help. And the way I did that was what you're doing, step by step. And uh, I bet you would never thought two years ago that you'd be here. And I, I can't even believe I'm still alive. So I always say when I speak, so I'm going to play you what went on in my head when I'm walking through the forest. I hope it will give you hope. It's a song of hope. It's about a better world. And then I'm going to leave you with a visual, all right? So I sit back and enjoy the show. Bashar is an Arab, and he's an Israeli, and he's a Zionist, 
and he organises all the promotions for BB when it comes to elections times in Nazareth. Mm. But that's okay, that's, you know, we argue about politics, but I still love him. <laughs> and I want to tell you a couple of things about Bishara, and you want to look at this. This is my beautiful Israel, right? This is my Israel. Uh, that, that when I was uh, in the hospital, the first, first night, it was like interviews with the shin bed, and oh my gosh, I don't know what was happening. And I'm, I'm really, I'm like, I'm like just torn apart inside, literally, like air's coming out, you know what I mean? And Bishara arrives, somehow he pushes his way through the hospital, he got his bus, he goes around Nazareth, he collects all his family, he manages to get into the intensive care, you know, and I'm laying there, I have to demonstrate, you know, I'm like wheezing. And he says, he calls me Kishkush, it's a nickname, <laughs> and he says it to me in Hebrew, he says, Kishkush. What have you gone and done now? <laughs> and I look at Bishara, and there's Bishara, and Bishara's wife, and Bishara's brother, and Bishara's brother's wife, <laughs> and I have all these Arabs around my bed, and they're all dressed up like they're going to a wedding. And Bishara's there, and he has a tray of cake. <laughs> and I'm, I'm dying, Ryan. And he says, Kishkush. I brought you cake. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our relationship. And then a few months later, after the murderers were caught, you know, and this whole terror cell, then Bishara, you know, I, I did one more guiding and I saw this ring. I always wanted a ring with Shmai Slail because that's what I said when I was dying. And so Bishara comes up and he knows, I didn't tell him, and he, he looks at the ring and he says, I know what you were thinking of. I know what you prayed when they were murdering you. You said Shmai Slail, right? And it was very exciting, and I said, yeah, and he says, this ring? He says, I want to buy it you. And then the maniac said, it costs 600 shekel, can you put 200 in? I <laughs> 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 to tell you, I started, I, I, I'm in pain all the time, I'm in constant physical pain, and I am in severe psychological pain, or thank God though, I choose to look at the light, because without a shadow, well there's no shadows without any light, so I try to break down what life is, and I was writing all these one sentences, and I've come up with 3,700, but I'll only read 15, so my darling friend, my beautiful Israel, it's a love with you guys as well. And this is for you, Ryan. You see, you're my hero. You're one of my heroes. Life is engaging in senseless and random acts of kindness. Life is saying no to Facebook and making a phone call just to hear someone's voice. Life is feeling the rain on your face. Life is the sound of a cork popping out of Gone on Heights, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2009. <laughs> Life is turning C major into C7 flat 5. Life is a cold shower on a hot day and a hot chocolate on a cold night. Life is making someone giggle. Life is turning up Oscar Pete on full blast and listening it to again and again and again. Life is shaking the sand from your shoes. Life is acknowledging the future but living in the present. It's accepting the past but embracing the now. Life is knowing that people are always, without exception, more precious than money. Life is not always having, having to be right. Life is the excitement of waking up to a new day no matter what lies ahead. And finally, Ryan, life is living your life with the knowledge that every moment and every single thing is nothing less than a miracle. Absolutely. Absolutely.